And of course, he's thinking, okay, maybe I could Bionic Arm, but at the same time, Champ does have the meters on deck. And okay, so okay. Now, now, uh, now we have Jumpman uh, coming from Dallas, and we have Jin coming from Irving, Texas. Yep. Uh, Jumpman uh, doing an upset against Terry Bogart, who put him in losers. Uh, right. With the because um, he actually used a different team in losers, which was his Virgil Doom Ami. Uh huh. Um, and then Jin Jin playing zero do, zero Dante Virgil. Yep. Typical zero may cry scumbags <laughs> that they all are. Irving is kind of in the DFW area, so he does uh, play Jumpman. I'm sure more often than he would play an out yeah. of city uh, somebody else like that. So this is one of the first matches of city versus same city, basically. Yeah. Um. And uh, Jumpman, uh, well, we'll see. We'll see what he's comfortable with. Uh, Chris is a very awkward character to fight, even for zero. Um, so um, we'll see. And he also has a lot of cool tricks up his sleeve with right. uh, Wesker Emmy and uh, just the team in general. Um, and then we'll see if he decides to switch. Jumpman's team is not that Get strong, but again, fight! matchup inexperience is uh, the name of the game. He's got a lot of tricks up his sleeve. He will route tag Wesker in for Chris a lot if you don't kill his Chris in one hit. And Wesker Ami THC is one of the silliest things I've ever seen. Yeah, I, I didn't even know that was a thing until I saw it uh, today. Because I, I haven't seen Jumpman play in a long time. And I haven't seen Jin play in a while, but he is one of the top ZMCs in uh, the Dallas area. Uh, he does have a little penchant of dropping combos, which is... You know, really unfortunate. On the at, on the same token, Virgil, he has Virgil, and Virgil's a good character. Well, I don't know. Virgil's not that good, you know? Good. He's good and bad. He, he's but kind mainly, of overhyped. Mainly good. Well, I mean, you know. He's not <laughs> overhyped. He's not overhyped, but he's winning. Okay. But, okay. So, it looks like he's going to go for the Chris team. Um, we're going to see a lot of zoning. Uh, a lot of grenades and stuff. We'll see if Jin's familiar with ha uh, dealing with Chris. A lot of people, a lot of people don't know how to handle it. Right. Well, two things. We'll see if Jin gets jumped because Terry Bogart has already gotten jumped. He got jumped. Yep. And the other is. Uh, let's see a good match. Cleaning room. There can be only one winner. All right. Yeah, from full screen, Chris is by himself. Jin should be trying to get in right now, but he decided to put himself on the screen at the beginning of the match. Now, luckily, Emmy doesn't really control the screen. I mean, uh, doesn't control full screen, like most other projectiles. Oh, Already no. a drop from Jin. That was supposed to be a pretty simple zero convert. And he's going to lose the zero right here. And uh, one of the prettier team supers. Yeah, it's very elemental and shiny. Not much to say here. Zero got taken out pretty quickly. This YOLO jackpot. I mean, million dollars. Take out Chris. He thinks this is going to be a problem. I don't know. I don't know about this decision, to be honest with you. I disagree with this decision on the pure basis that Chris is the least dangerous character on Jumpman's team. Doesn't even kill Chris. And here we go. The Wester Rod tag, like I said. This is the high time. Gets Crouch Ace instead. Oh, nice. Gets a random, uh, gets a random, uh, Phantom Dance to extract the kill. And here we go, the THC! And you gotta guess, this is not something you can actually block. And there wow. it is. It double crosses up. At he least. gets a, a relaunch to a Chris. Oh, nice. The Jump Pass actually hit Emmy out of the Cold Star. Normally, Jumpman is a very trap based player, so he yeah, wanted to. Uh, yeah, now with the team backwards, he's got a full screen assist. With uh, with the gunshot and um and an Emmy to lock down from mid screen. And there are two things uh, two things that can happen if you do a THC and your characters get hit. One is in the startup, if your move is not invincible, uh, only the point gets hit and the teammates go away. But if the, the move actually comes out, you can actually hit all the characters in the THC. Yeah. Wow, and he noticed it. Wow, nice incoming on Emmy. Emmy can't double jump, so she has to eat it. But he won't kill here, but Jin is actually doing pretty well momentum wise. Oh. And, uh, jump at me, very careful. Oh, oh no! He, he could have teleported, yep. Yeah, I don't see this, that's that natural uh, awareness that uh, he doesn't, he's not true of. Um, against the, the second, before the second part of the elemental super, if you have a teleport character, you can definitely teleport behind and punch his family. Right. 
The Emmy Super, the Element Super has three parts. Fire, I and then Ice, and then Electricity. And there's a gap between Fire and Ice where uh, you can teleport or dash under. <laughs> nice chip out. Yeah, and, and during the, the ice, the ice, the beginning of the ice doesn't hit behind Demi, so that's a big weakness in that. So Virgil, for for example, Virgil has the easiest punish, but whatever. Back into the second round, yeah. Jumpman jumps, Jin gets uh, jumps. <laughs> Jin gets jumps. Jin got jumped in last match. Um, I re it looked like it looked like uh, Jin was uh, about to come back too. Um, but anyway, uh, Jumpman's doing full screen zoning. I believe this is the first losers match we're showing. So uh, okay. one of these guys is done. Yeah. He is just not respecting the fire. Yeah, that, I mean, the fire is just it's one of those things you have to learn, learn how to deal with. Like, and it, it's either very easy or very hard for you. Nice by Jumpman. Sees an opportunity, goes in with a low. Jump or Jin, sorry, is uh, he's on his back foot right now. Yeah, loses zero first again. To Chris. Cross up? Whoa! Oh, no. No, nah, I don't think I don't think Chris can actually cross up at all. But uh but um Jin probably second could guess it. Ooh, Ooh wow. this is the unblockable. That was, that was so dirty. Almost worked too. Whoa! Ah, that flame grenade. But Chris rushed down. That was interesting. Wow, this is gonna lock him down. I like this I like this idea. I'm getting very excited for this match. Resident Evil. Yeah. He goes low. I think he hit him out of Whoa. spiral sword. Just anyway. coming, come in, jump, jump S with Dante. But he's gonna run at X Factor soon. Yeah, he's gotta worry about. Uh, oh, wow, nice and coming on Annie again. Gotta worry about three years ago, Dark Wester. But Looking not, like I don't think he's gonna even kill here. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Nice, okay. okay. Whoa! <laughs> Courtesy <laughs> shot. Wesker with his cameo appearance right there. Acid Rain's gonna stop the super. He doesn't let it go through. I actually though. like uh, Guns, guns! I actually like Wesker just match up a lot because of his uh, normals and he just went in there. He just he just ran it down C. That was so crazy. Crazy from Jumpman. Mm -hmm. Well, Jin, once he did the uh, the revolver, he only had one hope of surviving, which was whip canceling it into a, one of the follow-ups, the fireworks or the the dance, the crazy dance or whatever. Yeah. And he missed that. Jumpman saw it. It was a wrap from there. So. Uh, oh man! Now Jin, Jin is changing up the order. The zero, Dante, Virgil. Uh huh. Very different team. Most importantly, Anchor Virgil. The process of jumping is two thirds complete right now. Yes. Nice, but it goes into the fire. There were two fires. Wow. Oh, that's it. Oh, it did, did looking pretty good this this time. Nice by Jin catches an anti air, and this time Chris looks like he's going down. Don't prove me wrong, Jin. Do your combo. Yeah, very very good start for Jin finally. The 16 matches to go. Oh, and he drops the lightning loot. Oh no. So he's gonna raw tag Wesker. No? Wow. The Chris M E T A C T H C. There we nice. go. Oh Whoa, he almost got a combo with Wesker. And the fire blocking uh blocking at any chance of approach. No, you got a buster, dude. Oh my god, he got a converted dog. there. He got a totally converted there. But uh, Jumpman being, being a little wary, nice. gets air drawn zero. Zero is going down. That's always so cool when you're like focusing on an assist and then you quickly change to the point and they're not ready for it. Yeah. Oh, nice mix up. Man, Jin is not blocking any of these cold star mix ups. Oh no, that was off. Awesome. He didn't have enough hit sun for that, unless he had glasses off. Oh, he's gonna take out Wesker. Now this, this is, I agree with. Yeah, this is how it begins. Chris Anchor is I've never heard of him. <laughs> well I mean if you're not careful, he'll get you. He's got good stubby normals. <laughs> wow, the oh, jump over, wow. but the sword did Nice! There's uh whenever you uh, X Factor uh, swords, there's a little gap that you can snap back and uh oh, Man was very no. aware of it. And he's gonna take out Dante. No? Drops out. But no, not he blocking block from it anyway. Yep. yep. 
<laughs> the crowd getting very hyped. And when Chris rises, he shall snap your neck. <laughs> when he rises from the flames. Yes. Looks like Jin got 3 0'd. He got jumped. jumped, man. He got jumped. Jump, man, jumped him. He got jumped. Jin got jumped.